to begin, I set up, measured the paper size, taped it to a backboard, and started with soft vine charcoals to sketch Paige. That's the dog, and she is our subject. When you're holding charcoal, adjust how you hold it as you move around the drawing. It should feel natural. There's no really right or wrong way to do it. When I add color, I use soft pastels. And I like to use pencils and hand wrap pastels. Usually pencils for the bigger areas and the hand wrapped for highlights or um, areas that I want to pop. They tend to be a lot more vivid. And also in general, you'll see that we go from background to foreground. After the base color is laid, I pull out what I find in the photo, like purples, oranges, um, different blues and pinks. Something to keep in mind with soft pastels is that they can smear, although generally they're very easy to work with. Paige is running through a field that has all of these uh, dandelions that are about to um, spread their seeds. So it's a very whimsical, kind of fun, energetic photo. And that's really what I'm trying to capture in this background. So with Paige, just like the background, I like to do... Um, a baseline of her colors and she's white and gray so I pretty much cover her in the white and grays and then I'll go on to shadows and lights and some pops of color that you see pinks in her ear in her tongue the light reflects off of her silvery gray coat and, and creates some kind of pinks and purple hues For me in portraiture, whether it's pet portraits or person portraits, it's all about character and you find that in their face, faces, their eyes, their smiles. So to me that's the most important part.